Straight ahead, we recruit the Living Sky Guy for the lowdown on tomorrow's solar eclipse. Hey, I'm here at the observatory on campus at the University of Saskatchewan with Tim Jaworski, the living sky guy, the astrophotographer, the guy who I go to when I look for guidance on what's going on in the heavens and above us. And Tim, the original intent of, of uh, meeting you here today was the uh, it's, it's a, a solar eclipse that is happening tomorrow, although with the clouds and the inclemency, you might not get a real good look at it. Yeah. Well, here's hoping. That's the thing is, we're in Saskatchewan. You know what they say about the weather, right? Yeah. Huh. So what this one's happening is actually right at sunrise. As the sun is rising, the eclipse is actually happening. Now in Saskatchewan, we're seeing weather permitting a partial eclipse of the sun. Okay. In Saskatoon, we're looking at about 30% coverage. As you go further north, for example, Orange is over 50% coverage, oh, wow. up to 75% coverage. The big show is happening in northern Ontario and Nunavut, where they're getting the full effect of it. Now, what's unique about this one is, this one's called an annular eclipse okay. instead of a total eclipse. Now, if you remember back in 2017, we had a total eclipse of the sun, yeah. which in Saskatoon, we had about 78% coverage. And in the States, they had a total version of the eclipse. Mm -hmm. Now, the thing about a total eclipse, during that three to four minutes of totality, you can look at it with the naked eye, you look at it through your camera, not have any problems because the sun is completely obscure, right. obscured by the moon. An annular eclipse though, what's different about it, is the moon is further away, so it looks smaller, so it's not covering the full surface. Instead, we're getting what's known as a ring of fire effect. Right. The sun essentially looks like a very skinny rimmed donut <laughs> okay. in the sky. Sure. But the thing about that is there is no time at, end, at all to be able to safely view it without protection. Okay, and that is where you come in once again, filling the void for us. Exactly. Step. How can we take a look at this thing if we do get lucky enough to have the opportunity Okay, tomorrow? well, for someone, for example, who has a telescope, that's where a solar filter comes into play. And if you're photographing with a camera, a telephoto lens, same thing, a solar filter. But for those of you who want to, don't have a, just want to view it, if you kept your eclipse glasses, <laughs> from 2017, then just take a look, make sure there's no holes in them, look at that rising sun, and you will be safely protecting your eyes. Okay. But not everyone's gonna remember to have, I, gonna keep those I'm around. I'm not sure if I still have mine or not. <laughs> so, <laughs> what you're gonna do instead is, you're gonna go into the kitchen, okay. and you're gonna get your colander. This is something I have never heard of before. Oh, and so. this is absolutely miraculous. Essentially, if the sun was rising there right. in eclipse, you're gonna hold the colander this direction oh, okay. here, with the sun shining into it, and your whole family's gonna be looking this way, onto a white wall or a white piece of paper, and you will see as many holes are in the colander, you'll see tiny versions of that sun. So you'll see the eclipsed sun focused <laughs> and projected onto that wall with your colander, and you can safely watch this. That is cool. Now the trick though is, A, it's right happening at sunrise, mm -hmm. and B, we need to have a clear open, open sky and a clear open horizon. Okay, so now is this, wh when's the next one? If we miss this one tomorrow, because I don't know, it's not looking good. And even if it is yeah. here, 30%, yeah. yeah, exactly. These happen at other times. They though. do happen at other times. The next total eclipse of the sun that we're gonna be seeing visible in Canada will be in 2024. That's in okay. April in 2024. All right. Now, Eastern Canada, and up to basically Toronto, sort of in that area, they're gonna see it as a total eclipse. For us in Saskatchewan, we'd see it as a partial eclipse of the sun. Uh, but if you go diagonally down through the States and into Mexico, that's where you'll still, still see it as a total eclipse. And, okay. you know, fingers crossed, that's where I'm going to be next year. Well, who uh, yeah, in 2024. 2024. Who knows what the world will be like at that point, but hopefully we can experience it 
as it should be. Tim, uh, thank you so much. Where can we, we uh, hook up with you and follow your adventures to get all this information? Just go to Living Sky Guy, whatever social media platform you're on, that's the easiest way to catch me. All right, Tim, thank you so much. Always a pleasure.